course, tonight is going to be fish. The fish is Mahi Mahi. It's a very good fish. Correct from Hawaii. Now, I want to know, just to tell the main, that the head waiter, how many of you cannot, cannot have the fish? Do we have anybody here that is vegetarian? And if you had fun on this trip. <laughs> this trip was not for fun. This trip was for education. That's right. And so we actually have to play this Jeopardy game to make sure you learn something on the trip in case you're given a hard time when you go back in customs you can say I won the trivia question about Cuba so I definitely was on an educational trip right? Yeah. So you have to pay attention you have to participate because this makes your trip legal and also we will give you a little um, it would be a carrot but it's not a carrot it's a chocolate so we will give you a little incentive if you answer a question and of course if you get it right. So you're ready to play Jeopardy? Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Right, going to explain to our non-English speakers what we're doing. Amigos cubanos y amigas cubanas, bienvenidos y bienvenidas. <laughs> Queremos pedir un momento de paciencia de ustedes porque ellos van a hacer ahora un juego educativo. Porque dice Medea que todavía es ilegal, bajo las leyes norteamericanas, venir a Cuba a divertirse. Que la única manera que sigue siendo legal es por motivos educativos. Por lo cuanto, van a ser educacionales y educativos. Van a hacer un juego, ahora educativo, para ver si han aprendido en estos días de visitas aquí. El juego está en inglés, le pedimos un poquitico de paciencia, después vamos a comer, eh, tomar y bailar juntos. Así que espérense. Y bueno, muchos de ustedes son bilingües también. Ok, so the rules are the same as last time. There are four categories. Guantanamo, the embargo, the U.S. state terrorist list, and the travel ban. You can pick anywhere between 100 and 1,000 points. We don't really have that many points for that many of them, so we're going to swap it around. If you do not get the answer right, Medea and Jamila will answer, and we will get all of the points and all of the treats. Oh. So, one more time. Categories are Guantanamo, the embargo, the U.S. state terrorist list, and the travel ban. Who's up first? Participation, participation is mandatory. Guantanamo. Uh, 200. What other countries are on the United States state terrorist list? North Korea. Ah. And Barbara said North Korea. That's incorrect. All right, one more chance here. Are you going to answer the question? Nope, you don't get it. Israel. Oh, Israel. <laughs> well played, Bill. <laughs> Who else is on the U.S. terrorist list? Right here. Get on. Who else? Venezuela is not. Libya. Nope, Libya is not. All right, we're running out of time here. <laughs> Sudan, that is correct. Somalia is not. The Sudan is correct. Mary, what you got? Cuba. Cuba. All right, Kathy Glantz is correct. Sudan, Syria, and Iran. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> Who's our next Cuba Jeopardy contestant? You have five seconds this time. Who's that? Guantanamo. Guantanamo. Okay. Which U.S. senator just got back from Guantanamo and said that, quote, the beds there are not full enough, the prisoners can rot in hell, and everything is fine? Okay. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Okay, right back here. Senator Tom Cotton. Oh! Yeah, boom, Tom Cotton. 
Does Cuba have life-saving medicine for that the embargo blocks the U.S. from having? Mark has five seconds to answer the question. Two. One. All right. Who wants to know about your pet? Lung cancer. And that's not the answer we were looking for. Diabetes. That is the correct answer. Cuba has medicine for diabetes that the U.S. Well, not an import. Okay, who do we have for the uh, travel ban? Who wants a travel ban? Someone raise your hand. Come on. Wait, 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 we've got Faith in the back. All right, Faith, question. How much do charter flights cost from Miami to Havana? More or less. More or less. This has to do with the travel ban, the issues that, it, that are... Oh, 400! Great job, Faith! Between 400 and 500 is the correct answer, right? But, but, the, but the answer is really too much for such a short flight. It should be a lot less than that. Alright, who's up next? Okay, next! Alright, folks, come on, we need participation here. This is okay. the democracy. Okay! Come on, have you been in Cuba? We got married. Alright. I'm married! Yay! Alright, we're going to ask another question about the terror list. Tell me if you know what day Cuba will officially be removed from the terror list. Bum, 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 bum. Four, three, two, one. Yeah. It's already removed. No, not quite yet. Cuba is not officially off the list. I didn't hear. Okay. All right, that, that, they cheated because it's June 1st and they're the only ones who know because they went to the interest section. All right, but nobody, if, this is something very interesting. You know, the terrorist list now, it's, con, it's Obama has said Cuba should be taken off. He had to give 45 days notice to Congress. So on June 1st, get ready to celebrate Cuba being taken off the terrorist list. Okay, who wants to take another for the embargo? Who's the brave soul? Who's behind faith? Whoever's behind faith, I can't see you. Deb, you're up. Embargo in what companies in the U.S. are already trading slash doing business with Cuba? Tabasco. Name one. What companies? Disney. Disney. Peloton. Deb's got to answer. She's got five seconds. Five, four, three, two. This is an educational trip, folks. Yeah. All right. Tyson. Oh. Tyson. What? Tyson. 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 And Steve, did you have one dad? Disney. Steve said Disney. Is that true? Oh, okay. of travel to Cuba are allowed. And name four. Educational. Educational. Research. Research. Yeah. Arts exchange. Commercial. Like business. Business. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay. yes, 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 yes. And what's the, what's the total now? Nope, there's a total amount. Alright, does anyone know the exact amount of travel categories there are? 
The masters are shouting 12, and that is correct. Alright. All right. Cool. Who's up next for... Let's do Guantanamo. Who wants to answer a question about Guantanamo? I know there are folks here. Go ahead. That's a great question. <laughs> the question is, how much rent does the United States pay Cuba to lease Guantanamo monthly? cashed the check yet, so it's nothing. Okay, well Bill says they haven't cashed the check yet, so it's nothing. Well, like, the one question one is how much the United States pay. Pink house and pipe. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anybody got the answer? A dollar. A dollar, no. $4,000, but the Cuban government does not cash the check. Except for once. Except for once. Yes. Okay. How about one for the travel ban? Who's up next? Who has not raised their hand yet? Who has not raised their hand? I thank you, Mary. She is getting an A plus for participation. I'm looking at looking at lots of you who have not raised your hand. I'm looking at you, all of you. All right, folks. We're not going to do this much longer, but we need you to. Oh, okay. So, uh, which Republican in the Senate has introduced the Freedom to Travel Act for related to Cuba? Anybody can answer. Anyone can answer this. Hey, Rubio. Oh, definitely not Rubio. Not Rubio. No, which Republican? Not which Republican? Flat. Republican in the Senate. Flat. Arizona. Flat. Okay, who can answer the, this question? What are three concrete things that have changed with, in regards to U.S.-Cuban relations since December 17th? Uh, he's already answered a question before, but thank you, Adam. All right, folks. Come on, folks, this is the last one. Don't you want the chocolate? Three things that have changed since December 17th. You can do it. I see you're cheating right there in that group over there. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, let's go for it. The meeting with the president of the two countries. The meeting with the presidents of the two countries. That's a good one. You got two more? Travel bans, was it? The, there have been there has been an easing of the travel restrictions. That's the two. Money, so the amount of money that Cubans or people can send in remittances has changed. Those Cubano think oh. What? The, the five the Cubans. The three of the Cuban five have been let out of prison and returned. Okay, that is the end of the game. Did, did you have fun doing the game? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So there is a white piece of paper up there with magic markers in color. You can go up any time during the night and say a nice thing about Cuba to Cubans, your trip, something, and sign your name. This will be left behind with Cuban friends. So go up and sign something during the night. And um, we are not, I think. Yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna take a couple minutes, um, not too much time because we have a lot of Cuban friends here who don't necessarily speak English. But if there's anyone who wants to come up and talk on the mic for less than a minute, maybe share something special from your trip, or you know a anything that you learned in particular, or any Cuban or otherwise that you want to thank, uh, we'd like to give you a moment to do it now. Or tell us the best experience you have while you're here. You don't have to tell us your worst experience. <laughs> you can email us about that later. <laughs> Anybody want to come up? 
So, do you want to share something with the other people in the group about something you learned, something you did, something you enjoyed? Come on, folks. I'll start. I had the wonderful privilege of going to a kindergarten and playing with the kids there. And it was so exciting. They had a story about dinosaurs and I just asked them, is that an elephant? No. Is that a crocodile? No. And they laughed and told me all about the elephants, all about the dinosaurs and it was so cool. Kids in Cuba rock. Well, I have had the most amazing time on Tuesday evening with Medea and some old ladies, uh, which does not which doesn't include Medea or myself. Some old ladies who were in their 90s, and Medea had known them for quite some time, and they were the most beautiful and fascinating and exciting and extraordinary people I've met in my life. And I've been talking to a few friends about them, and we all think that we're going to have to come back with a little film crew and we've got to film these women and I am so grateful to this extraordinary and beautiful woman for introducing me to many many things but above all to Las Abuelas and you should all have come along to that group because you don't know what you missed. <laughs> Las Abuelas, the grandparents. The grandparents? Yeah, they visited some grandparents group, I don't know the details. This is my first time with the good thing. Uh, last time I was with them was 2003 uh, the, in Washington uh, when the, before the uh, war, war in Iraq. Anyway, and I was you know, here on November for 25 days and it was great, but this time Women organization in North Dallas. They send me to be familiar with Kodmi. And also, we have a newspaper, Iranian newspaper, which is Persian and English. They want, you know, they know about the group and activities. So, I wrote a lot of things about it. I really, really enjoy every of you. I have such a great time. You are great people. I'm so proud, you know. Now I'm part of these intellectual people. I have really good time. Yay! Um, yesterday, I was on my first May Day March, and it was absolutely extraordinary. We had to leave at 5 a.m., marched, walked together, then marched with lots of people. It rained on us, and when I got in front of Raul, who was way up there, I waved! And he waved back. <laughs> uh, is is Saida here? He was at the hospital with uh, Mariel. Louder. Oh, okay. Uh, Mariel, uh, who okay. had to leave, and uh, wanted to thank. Be sure to thank Saida. I think I saw her, her earlier. Ahora no. No sé. No sé si creo que tiene el barba. Yo quiero decir muchísimas, muchísimas gracias para todos los días, las personas del equipo aquí que nos ayudaban con todo, todos los días. So I just wanted to say I think every experience was made so great and I give so much thanks to all of the bus drivers and our interpreters and our guides. Thank you, thank you. You got it, huh? Here, the whole team. So that made it great. Thank you. That's actually what I was going to say. I think we owe a huge gratitude to Medea and Ali and to you and our drivers and our guides. They were fabulous. We are grateful. We, yes, and it's been fabulous. Thank you so much. Bravo!
I'm very, it was a wonderful place we went to. We had so much fun, so beautiful, muy bella. We said, Gabriel, habla en inglés? Un poco. Y para mí, español, un poco, pero. Yes, muy delicioso, muy gentil, la gente. Yeah, soy muy contento. Bueno, que le gustó. Yana? Yes. Yes. Eight people love the place. Absolutely. Eya un. Eya muy sympathetic naya deobushka. Say, ah, I can't talk. No puedo hablar los idiomas. It's too confusing. I was on the seafront and I was talking to this guy and we ran into a couple of Russian sailors. Russian uh, sailors? Yeah. And so I was really confused which language I was talking. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but he said, on skazal, so on ajin kopak na petichki zelo. He got it on and he said, I did it. <laughs> I had no idea you could speak Russian. <laughs> I, have no idea. I speak really bad Russian and really about about habla el ruso muy malo, la español muy malo, la Francia muy malo, todos los lagunas muy malo. Pero Angliski. Yo puedo hablar dos idiomas. El inglés y el otro. El español. El español. El español, Francia, Nimentz, German, el otro. If I don't know a word in one language, I just use the other one. The new connections we've made will continue in the United States. Yeah, I'm actually. I can't see anything. Just words. Vamos a bailar más tarde. Yes. Bueno. Inspired that there is a free association of uh, entrepreneurial Cubans occurring in the in a cooperative model. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that develops in the future, and uh, I'm looking forward to going back home and telling people what what we saw here. So um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Y ver que la cosa está, que hay cambios, avances y transformaciones del modelo con, con el nuevo movimiento de cooperativas, eh, eh, en lo cual siente que muchas trabas que han estado, eh, que tienen lento el avance, puede ir la situación del país avanzando más rápidamente. Hi, my name is Norm, and it's been a, a wonderful week. I simply can't thank uh, Code Pink and the Cuban staff enough for giving us the opportunity 
to meet the Cuban people and um, to, to learn uh, about Cuba. I just would hope that everyone, all 110 of us, uh, when we go home, we don't just live with our memories and look at our photos, but we actually take some action and write letters to the editor and uh, uh, talk, talk, talk to your representative and and do something. Thank you. Gracias. Dice que ha sido una experiencia inolvidable, que está muy agradecido a Cotpink, pero quiere decir a todos que esto no puede de quedar en un viaje lindo, con fotos que se recuerden, que todo tiene que ir a tomar acción para seguir avanzando la situación, quitando el bloqueo, que todo tiene que escribir a sus congresistas y trabajar, trabajar para seguir eh, avanzando. Um, when we go back to do all these wonderful things for, for Cuba, uh, maybe we could do a little bit of the same things for Palestine. Uh, Cuba does not have diplomatic uh, relations with Israel. And uh, there's very good reason for that. Um, but America does. And... Um, Israel is lying to America about Palestine. So when you when you do all these things, great things for Cuba, to lift the sanctions on Cuba, lift lift the weapons of mass destruction that are keeping Gaza under siege and and the Palestinian people under occupation for almost military occupation for almost 50 years. You know, you have to think about that. When you're thinking about Cuba, think about Palestine. But uh, what I'm also hoping, in addition to you all having a wonderful time, and it makes me so happy that you had a great time here, is that you all will come and hopefully work with me to write your representatives email them, call them, visit their offices, you can visit their local offices and let them know that the American people want an end to the embargo against Cuba. Yo, si. So, um, I'm happy to give out my cards, information, I, we have a lobby packet that is already ready. Uh, what's great is that we have those that came on the trip in February have been lobbying and calling their representatives while we are here. We want you guys to stay connected, to stay engaged. Those who came in February are still involved in Cuba. We want you to not just go home with memories, as he said, but also with a fire in your belly to make sure that we are going to normalize relations with this country for good. So please, 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 please feel free to reach out to me, tap me on the shoulder. Doesn't matter if I'm dancing or if I have a mojito in my hand. I am very happy to talk to all of you. And uh, when you come back home, after we get your email addresses and you express that you want to be contacted, I will be happy to give you that lobby packet and to help you. And if you are in the D.C. area, you can come to Capitol Hill with us because we are going to have a lobby day. And we're also going to have an event at the Code Pink House on June 2nd, which will be the day after Cuba is officially removed from the U.S. state sponsored terror. Hey! So a couple of other ideas that came up while we were here. Uh, raise your hand if you went to that um, factory where the women were making the clothing. Yes. So we really love that place. Um, not only because it had turned into a cooperative, the women and, and men were earning two or three times more than it was at, than when it was state run. They seemed like they had a really great uh, way of collectively making decisions, uh, but also because at 10 in the morning after we did the visit, they brought out the rum and coke and put on the music and started <laughs> dancing with us. And we thought, how cool when you go into a factory. Imagine going to China to see a factory and all of a sudden, you know, comes out the rum and coke and you start dancing. I don't think so. So, um, but the, one of the problems they have is getting good fabric. And the fabric they're getting is this really bad polyester. And you know, in the heat here, 
That's really bad stuff. So we talked and we want to talk to them more about getting them fabric, um, uh, getting it here, having them make some things for us. Uh, Omar, who led the, uh, from the Fine Arts Museum, is wearing such a beautiful shirt with made a beautiful pink cloth that we want you to be the model and we want to take a picture, see if the women uh, hello, hello. Very fine. Can you get that this? shirt. Can't you come up here for one second? No! Bravo! Isn't it gorgeous? She wants to touch it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So, and then we could try to challenge the embargo by selling them back in the United States. That would be pretty cool, right? Ooh. And then, uh, raise your hand if you remember the great talk we had by uh, Raul Castro's daughter, Mariela Castro. Ooh. So she told us while she has been to New York and to the state, she's never been to Washington, D.C. But that she would like to meet, she told us there are seven openly gay Congress people in Washington, and she would like them to invite her and to have a briefing in Congress about what Cuba is doing to confront homophobia and get gender equality. So if you would like to work with us on that, that's going to be a really fun trip to organize. We also have to, by law, pay all her expenses for her to be able to get the visa. So we'll be doing some fundraising. If you're interested in helping us fundraise about that, please let us know. Which brings me to our next topic. Uh, before we start the party in just a minute, and a uh, big shout out to Royce for bringing this up. There have been a few people who have asked me, how do I become a member of Code Pink? And the answer is that Code Pink doesn't really have like a membership per se. And I guess would it be accurate to say Code Pink is more like a state of mind? Um, well, if you go to our website, there's this really obvious place where you can sign up to get our emails. And we have a bunch of local chapters across the United States who are very active on different issues. We have chapters in Dallas, we have chapters in Chicago, and in Boston, and different places in Florida, and in Cleveland and a bunch of other places, and you're totally welcome and highly encouraged to start your own chapter. Uh, there's, there's very few, there's a few logistical rules associated with that, but if you email me after the trip, I can give you all the tools you need to get started and to start a group in your area and to take action, whether it's for Cuba or any of the other issues that we work on that have to do with war and peace. I hope that answers uh, your question. So be sure to uh, sign up for our email list. We'll actually include that in our follow-up email, so you just have to click one button and then you're on. Um, and now, Rodrigo is gonna do the last bit. So let's give it up for Rodrigo! How's everybody doing? ¿Cómo lo está pasando? ¿Dónde está la gente de Espiral? La gente de Amistur. Acá, acá, la gente de Amistur. La gente de Ocantomí. La gente de Barganopónico. De Alamar. ¿Dónde está la gente de Alamar? La gente de la agricultura orgánica. Por allá. La gente del Museo de Alfabetización. Aquí, Luisa. ¿Dónde está Doctor Falla? Aquí está Falla. ¿Dónde está la gente de Paneque? ¿Dónde está la gente de Paneque? Allá. ¿Cómo? ¿Dónde está la gente de Nebraska? Where's the Nebraska people? Oh, did they come? That's it. Okay. Um, we're going to have a great time. We're having a great time tonight. Are we? Yeah. Are we? Are we ready for music, for dancing, for drinking? ¿Dónde está la gente del Museo de Bellas Artes, Omar? Omar, un aplauso para Omar aquí, caballero. Omar, qué rico. ¿Dónde está la gente de Cuba, Girasol? Están todos trabajando. <risa> todos trabajando. ¿Dónde está Bruno? Bruno, Mejía, los físicos, los científicos, Yana. Ok. La gente del Hotel Vedado, caballero. De Pico con Hotel Vedado. De Pico con Hotel Vedado, Mejía. 
great Otello here, Otel Verano over there, this subdirector. And ¿qué me falta de los invitados? A ver, no nombre a alguien. So, we're, we're going to have a great time tonight. Huh? Moment, I boy. You remember the first day, the first day when I said who was the most important person in the trip? Who's the most important person in the trip? The bus drivers. The drivers. Bravo! I want to, um, Eduardo, Eduardo, ven para acá. Antonio, Antonio, Aronti, Adrián, vamos, Adrián. Vengan para acá. Alguien de Santiago de Cuba. Alguien de Oriente, allá, allá atrás, allá atrás la gente de Santiago. Bueno, la gente de Trinidad, un aplauso grande para los choferes, muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Ok, I would like to call, and I'm going to name a few people. I'm going to begin with somebody that had to replace a, one of the greatest guys that we, many of us have learned, who was Tatiana. We're very sorry that Tatiana got sick and couldn't continue with us. But we got a great replacement. And I want to ask for a big applause for Eliseo. Where is Eliseo? Come here. Come here. Come here, Eliseo. Eliseo, in the last minute, he got a last minute call. He was on vacation in Maradero. And say, hey, you need to come to work. We got a casualty. <laughs> <laughs> I want to call somebody who was always very disciplined, very responsible, on time. Sometimes I got a little stress with her, but I love her. Betty, where's Betty? Betty, come back. A great guy. Knowledgeable, great English, great experience. Come back. Oye, realmente Betty es una tremenda guía y si alguien tiene problemas de gramática en español o en inglés, le pueden preguntar a Betty. Um, you know, this one guy that I worked for many years already, who always easy going, relax, relax. You know, sometimes, you know, he mistranslates something, but he come out with something else. Very good, you see. And a guy who has, you know, a charisma, a smile, I give you security, you feel you're in good hand. Let's give a big applause to Raul. Raul! 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 Okay, and the first guy, or the fourth one, he was appointed with somebody um, who I was work for the first time as a tour guide. And I was really impressed when she translates, um, for example, Maria La Castro, oh, which is actually very difficult to interpret Maria La Castro. You know, she has she's very dynamic to talk, and you have to like do simultaneous translation. She's been dealing with logistics. She's dealing with the stress. She's making sure that the driver and he are there. Big applause for Asisemi. And I really want to thank Amistur. And they are the face of the guides for Amistur, but we have some people who are behind the scenes. And I want you to meet somebody who's been working with us on emails, phone calls, meetings, payments, logistics, and everything, who is our greatest Maria Elena. Donde esta Maria Elena? Let's give a big applause. My, Maria Elena, you never got to meet her. Well, take a couple times when she was telling the optional. But, She's been doing an outstanding work. An outstanding work. Muchas gracias, Marilena. I, I want to thank Jorge, but he's not here. Okay. Um, I want to thank also the ICAP. Do we have anybody from ICAP? Not yet. Okay. 
I want to thanks now everybody for Espiral. Quiero dar un aplauso a la gente de Espiral aquí. Vamos a la gente de Espiral. I want to call Mayrel in representation of the, of, the, of the group to come up here. Mayrel, en representación de la gente de Espiral. Appointed, no elected. Yeah. <laughs> I just appointed her. She was actually, um, actually, Mayrel was a coordinator of Espiral until last January when she was offered the position to be the principal of the school. So now I tell everybody that my, I have a friend who's a principal of the school, you know, in the prestige, you know. You know, she's not just an English teacher, she's the one who oversees the whole high school here. It's right here, Mayrel, and, but also a dance teacher. Gracias, Mayrel. I want to thank uh, the people from the Organopónico, Miguel Salcines. Miguel Salcines, muchas gracias. Over, over here, Miguel Salcines. And Flor, and Funes. Marta. Bruno, I want to thank Bruno over here, and Anna. A big applause for Bruno and Anna. I want to thank um, Alberto Falla. Luisa Campos over here, Alberto Fraya, Luisa Campos, they all contribute to our experience. We have a great experience. I want to thank the people for the... Quiero agradecer a la gente del 1830. ¿Dónde están los trabajadores del 1830? Los trabajadores del 1830, ¿dónde están? Levante la mano. Están trabajando. They're working, they're working, they're working right now. Okay, I want to thank um, Cici. ¿Dónde está Cici? She said the door giving tickets. I know some people were still waiting for the ticket. See, see, let me get a See, 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 she's still giving tickets. For those of you, it's not double ticket. It's only one ticket. Un aplauso para Cici, que ha estado trabajando en la organización de esta fiesta and organizing this party here, putting everything together. So any complaint about the party, talk to Cici. <laughs> I wanted to call Janet. ¿Dónde está Janet? Janet, come over here, Janet. Janet has been doing the logistics, the work that nobody wants to do, okay? The organizing lunches, or working with Maria Elena, doing, doing with uh, less passports, all the stuff, the passport, visas, stuff, flight stuff, you know. Thank you very much, Janet. Thank you very much. I want to call David. Davis, ¿dónde está Davis? Ven para acá. Davis is uh, actually taking care of the door there. Okay, but this is going to replace him. <laughs> and David is doing all the work, um, also um, helping with website, with all the uh, work on computer. Over here, David. Levanta la mano, David. Over here, un aplauso para David. Okay. Um, un aplauso para David. Um, I'd like to thank somebody who alleviates our work. We were in the middle of the trip, and we were blessed by having Catherine Murphy here with us. I want to have a big applause to Catherine. Big applause. She can write a thesis on the healthcare system now in Cuba. Some people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'd like to... Um, I would like to thank Norma over here. Norma, un aplauso para Norma over here. Norma, tío. I like to thank uh, my left hand and my right hand in my work. And I, and I really mean this very serious because without her, I can't be what I'm doing right now, which is Jessica. Un aplauso grande para Jessica. Some of you thought that we were married, but we actually married to a work because we all work, we, we both work every day until 7, 8 p.m. and sometimes even later. So we are married to a work. We have lovers on the side. <laughs> okay. I'm speaking of myself, it's not Jessica. <laughs> I'd like to, I'd like to thank, um, Jamila, who I just met, and we've been working on email, sending passport numbers, 
get it only for Mexico and the United States to hear. Thank you, Jamila. I'd like to thank my future wife in my next in my next year. In my next my next life. No, I'm just kidding. Everybody love how she does the hula hula. Can you go on the Ali! A big applause for Ali! You know, without art and without the energy, I want actually, I decided not to marry Ali because I have a better person to marry. I want to marry Ty. Where's Ty? Come here. I want a husband like Ty. I'm not sure what Medea said, but you know, we know each other for many years. Ty, a big applause for Ty. Ty, 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 Ty. Well, if I want to marry tight, I have to talk to somebody that I have a profound respect, that I learned so much for over 30, I don't want to say years, for a long time, for a long time. Um, and I really mean it, this from my heart, because one of the leaders that the United States has is Medea Benjamin. It's Medea Benjamin. Medea. Medea Benjamin made these things possible here. We put together a trip in two months. Nobody does that. We put the first trip in less than two months, remember, with 150 people. And Medea was right. Wasn't a good experience when you have today, this week. We will enjoy, we will learn, we will learn, we will meet new people. We will, we will fulfill our objectives. It was thanks to Medea. Thank you very much, Medea. Okay. So this is actually fun for us, coming from the U.S., because we know we've got somebody who's going to have it all together, who's going to take every request that everybody gave and is going to somehow put this puzzle together and make all the logistics work and have such a good time and be joking and laughing and wonderful to be with and we could never do any of this without Rodrigo. Oh. So I also say, Rodrigo, you must be getting very wealthy from all of these trips. <laughs> and he said, no. Take much money for his salary. He actually lives very simply. I've been to his house. His car is kind of so so. <laughs> Not a lot of material wealth. He puts it all back into new ventures that he does with the Cubans who he meets and loves and wants to try new things constantly with them. He is a jack of all trades. He actually has about five different businesses going on while at the same time he has three groups here right now not just ours he has a group of 31 students here right now and he had a group of business people here at the same time so this man is absolutely exceptional exceptional i love you dearly and thank you so much for me. Gracias, Maria. Gracias, Maria. Hey, you know I, I have missed some people because I've been a little overwhelmed, but I really want to thank my neighbor. I have a neighbor here. Where is my neighbor, Dr. Hernandez, with his wife, for director of the Termas Magazine, the greatest speaker about understanding U.S. human relations. Gracias, Rafael. Gracias, Rafael, over here. Gracias. And actually, he lives one across the street. And I live two blocks from here. That's why we organize the party here. Not because of you. <laughs> Actually, it is. So I can go and feed my dog uh, in half an hour. <laughs> so guys, we're going to have a great time tonight. Um, and I want to ask now an applause to all of you. To all of you. Thank you for being patient with us. Thank you for not asking too many questions. Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you for coming to Cuba, for deciding to be brave to come to Cuba and, and take the risk with us. We are a little crazy, but we're very professional. And one last thing, we had a very interesting talk today with the people organizing the Guantanamo visit. And I haven't had a chance to talk to you, Rodrigo, but uh, Abby Stewart is adding on that we can come to Havana, take a bus ride that goes, pol does political things along the way, um, and stays in come away, then goes to, uh, to Guantanamo, and then comes back through, Cien stays overnight in Cienfuegos, and then comes back again. So it's going to be an incredible voyage through the island, and that's going to happen in November. So stay in touch with us. Well, we're really giving advertisement. Okay. I thought it was a free, I got to free advertisement. So, November, we're going to get together to organize this trip, and I hope many of you come back. So, there's two pieces of white paper, one in the front, one on the side. There are pens there. If you want to write an expression of what you felt in this trip, or if you want to just sign your name, we'll take it back to the U.S. with us. Okay, so we're ready to party, okay? A big applause for all of us. A big applause for all of us. And we're gonna have, how many of you went to Las Terrazas? Raise your hand, those of you who went to Las Terrazas. Okay. Um, we have to text a couple people that just arrived. Rolando Mirante, where's Rolando Mirante? Rolando Mirante, un aplauso para Rolando Mirante. Over here, and an applause for Nahanda. Where's Nahanda? Rolando Milante over there. And where's Nahanda? Aquí. Un applause for Nahanda. A big applause for Nahanda. Um, this is a very difficult day for me because today is the day my father was assassinated. Uh, however, it's a very happy day for me because I can share the good things in life with all of you. Um, I appreciate, as Rodrigo said, uh, all of you coming to Cuba learning about Cuba, and hopefully we'll go back to the United States and talk about the reality of Cuba. There are so many mis disinformation about Cuba, but you are here. And it's a country of contradictions, but it's a country that has a heart and, uh, and principles to do what is correct for human rights. So, as Rodrigo said, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate those who were with me the other day, listening to me and learning my history and just listening to me. But I give you Thank you. Okay. We have a little surprise. We have a little surprise. ¿Dónde está la gente de Piral y los amigos de Piral? Okay. A ver, necesito una persona que con Espiral que traiga la javita. Que la vamos a explicar un poquito antes de darla. Okay. Espiral has a surprise for you guys. Eh, Espiral tiene una sorpresa para ustedes. Since Proyecto Espiral is an ecological grassroots organization, they decided to make this uh, bag with recycled paper using the newspaper. In this case, is the grandma newspaper. The grandma newspaper, you see it? The grandma newspaper. And, and, and inside, have a surprise for all of you to take it with you. Since you like coffee, you're gonna find one coffee cup for you. Also, you're going to get some indoctrination information, a picture of Espiral with the website and all this stuff, and with our pictures, because we use our Facebook. And you're going to get a hug. 
la gente de Espiral, vamos a darle el regalo a nuestros invitados ahora. Y yo quiero regalarle esto a Medea. ¿Dónde está Medea? Vamos. ¿Dónde está Medea? It's something that is simple and it is because you want, we want you to take a little memory of the newspaper of Cuba but also what we do with the newspaper after we read it. Okay? And actually it's been tested, it's been tested and you can actually put a bottle of rum inside. Oh. A bottle of rum inside. Okay? Ok, le voy a pedir a los, a los invitados, aquí tenemos silla, vamos a mezclarnos ahora entre cubanos, norteamericanos, latinoamericanos, eh, para compartir y tener una noche de fiesta, de celebración. Ok, ahora quiero pedir y vamos a bailar todos juntos para en Cuba y vamos a invitar a uno de los grandes grupos de este país y lo digo con conocimiento porque lo he, lo he visto desde que tocaban en las tocan todavía en las terrazas y la gente se maravillaba con ustedes con su música, con su fusión con su talento yo quiero invitar al escenario al grupo Alabao vamos un aplauso para Alabao un aplauso para Alabao And we're going to have fun
arriba, venga. Hola. Okay, guys, I know you're, I know you're having a great time, but those of you that feel like going back home, we are just taking a bus. I know you're having a, having a great time. Okay, there's one bus that is leaving now for those that want to go back to the hotel, but just keep on having fun. de este evento, a Rodrigo, a todos los participantes, que ha dado un buen viaje de retorno a casa. Y solamente quiero decir, siete años, siete años, sin sonido, sonido. Albertico, sin hacer mucho ruido. En el sonido. Chicho, para Chicho, Chuchi, pues esa gente linda ahí. Esa gente le hiciera posible que también la salieran las luces, el montaje de las luces para que no vean su trabajo. A los trabajadores, al equipo del staff del 1830 también las gracias ahí. Y que nos invito a comprobarlo por acá para compartir. Así que quiero decir algo, por último, para que reine la amistad, para que reine la alegría.